Hey friends, um, welcome to June, yay! I apologize I didn't get May's readings done. Some of you were kind of like sending emails or leaving comments on different videos saying, what the fudge, where is May? Um, and if you follow on the Facebook page, that's a better place to keep updated with what's going on. I'm going to make a video about, um, you know, if, for those of you who have followed me for a long time, you know that I used to be super, super consistent and like ahead of the game. Um, but the last like year and a half to two years has been complete upheaval and like just crazy shit in my life. So I'm going to make a video about that later because there's like a lot of spiritual like lessons and things in that that a lot of people will benefit from, including um, like, you know, how to predict and navigate your way through different things that come up if you were to read your own tarot cards and like, anyway whatever. The thing I wanted to say before we started our reading is that moving forward, like after June, yeah, I would say like probably about August of this year, everything, all the ducks should be in a row and things will get back on track so you can look forward to that. Uh, but in advance of that, I wanted to let you know, for those of you who are intending to purchase um, video readings, throughout like the first two weeks of June, there might be a delay in those. I um, am having a nose surgery, my nose is broken and it's causing sinus infections a lot. So I'll we'll have like this big thing on my face. And so um, like a little, uh, what do they call that, a splint? And then maybe some black eyes after that. So I don't know how up for video reading I'm going to be uh, straight out the gate. But I will be keeping on top of email readings and phone readings. So there's that. Um, now, this month, what the reading looks like for you guys is what you can expect in work with your money. Because sometimes those are related, sometimes they're not. In your love life, whether you're single, coupled, or in an on-again, off-again relationship, like an undefined relationship. Maybe it's new and it's not Facebook official. Maybe, um, you know, you're polyamorous. Maybe you're the other woman in a uh, relationship or, I guess, the other man, you know, whatever. Maybe it's a sugar daddy situation or a, a sugar baby situation. What do they call it when the guy, leave it in the comments if you know, when the guy, is it a kept man? If it's the dude that has a sugar mama? Anyway, yeah, if you know, let me know because I'm curious. And then we're also going to be looking at, you know, just kind of socially, like what do your relationships look like or what do you need to be aware of for this month, um, whether that is friends or family kind of situations. We're going to talk about your lucky day, um, which chakras you need to work on, what is your crystal of the month, uh, so many things in these readings this month. So um, let's just get started with it. Happy birthday, Gemini. So my little twins, what's going on with work? They say um, going in and thinking about how you really feel inwardly, not expressing it to other people, which might be challenging for somebody so chatty, but they go, go within and think about how you're really feeling about your work situation. What they're saying is that um, for some of you, you might feel a little bit defensive. You might feel as though other people are attacking you, your work style, talking behind your back, things like that. Um, and like there's a need, you know, maybe because of some sort of criticism or something like that to defend yourself. Um, what they're saying is, don't let that inhibit you from, you know, really trying to be social at work or really um, taking steps to get jobs done and completed, like your actual tasks. They're saying some of you might feel like you just want to walk away, like you want to quit as a result. You know, like when, especially when situations are very challenging um, socially, in the workplace, you know, we're, we're not feeling comfortable, like we're not able to perform as well. And so then sometimes we're like, ah, fuck it. And we want to find something else. But they're saying that's actually not what we want you to do this month. They're saying um, if you let what other people kind of say or what they think affect your output um, or even like your willingness to help other people at work, you know, and this kind of circumstance might be something that's going on. Maybe somebody says something, you know, like, 
oh, well, they're not very good at uh, leadership. They're not very good at teaching things um, about you. And then somebody clearly needs help. You might be a little bit more resistant to help that person. But they're saying, don't, don't really let that um, stop you from doing that. Because they say, like, for many of you, then what might end up happening is, you know, you'll just get frustrated, fed up, and you'll either quit your job or you'll be fired if that emotional stuff, like, affects your ability to put into your work um, what you usually would. Now, it'll be interesting um, to see how this plays out for those of you with Capricorn also in your chart, um, you know, because we do these readings for your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign. Now, your rising sign is going to correlate most with your work life, your moon sign with love and um, relationships, and then your sun sign just kind of like, you know, general things that are going on with you. And so um, it would be interesting to see how this plays out for some of you, just because Capricorn had something not a totally different situation, but it was like, hey, this might be the time to walk away. So, um, Anyway, they're saying, you know, your decisions in the workplace this month are going to be super, super important and have really large impacts. They're saying that a big challenge for you is going to be for you to allow other people to really help you or um, to give you kind of guidance or advice. Because if you're in that defensive shutdown mode, it's hard to hear what people are saying. And also, you know, if somebody has caused you some sort of emotional grief or pain, um, they're probably the last person we want to hear, you know, nice things from. So they're like, try to be open to that. They're like, you know what, things aren't fair. Like for a lot of you, this month might be challenging. Um, circumstances outside of your control, even possibly in the workplace, nothing that you did. I'm not saying any of this is justified, but they're saying, you know, there's nothing to be afraid of, really. Um, you can just acknowledge the feeling, easier said than done, I know, and then kind of get back at it is the best way to kind of navigate this. They go, just take it one day at a time. And then by the time you get to the end of the month, if you can't continue to do that, then start looking for something else where there's like more peace and harmony emotionally for you. But through the beginning of June, you're gonna to wanna to stay put and you're going to wanna ask yourself, you know, if something that somebody says about me or to me offends me, what part of myself really um, is afraid that what they're saying is true? right? So, um, you know, people can call you all sorts of names. So if somebody said, hey, uh, you're fat, right? If I believed that, if a part of me believed that, I would be offended and I'd be like, oh, you're an asshole. Um, and I would get upset. But if I don't believe that, I would just go <laughs> and I'd move on, right? So totally different kind of example, usually not work related, but you get what I'm saying. So if something really hurts us, um, if it's some sort of a criticism, it's often because we need to evaluate, you know, what, what part of us in our deeper subconscious believes that's true. That's why it hurts when people call us stupid if we, if parts of us believe that we are stupid, you know? Okay. Moving on from work to money in June. They say money should be okay, actually, it, um, and maybe even more than okay, to the point where you can buy something that you've been really wanting um, for a while. And they say, you know, the thing is, though, that this decision is something that you're kind of excited to do, but there might be a little bit of hesitation there. Um, you might not want to spend it because you finally have it. Um, so anything else you need to know about your money, they go, uh, you know, it's not like, hey, Gemini's all of a sudden in June have this like windfall of like massive funds, but like you're doing better probably financially than maybe you have um, recently, you know, or maybe you're making the same amount of money with less effort, something like that. Um, maybe it's birthday money from grandma coming in a, in a card. But the point is, is that, um, you know, focus on the positives here uh, because that's how we're going to attract more of it into our lives. They're saying um, for those of you who are resistant to spending that money on something for yourself that you've wanted, um, that's not a good 
relationship with the flow. If you can, money is an energy. Okay, so when we give it out, we often get it back. And so, don't be hesitant to get yourself that thing that makes you feel good that you've been wanting. Um, for love, single Gemini's, they're saying some of you might um, be ex just be becoming single in the month of June. Others of you. Um, may have been coming out of a relationship that was very serious. It's um, either a divorce or kind of feels like a divorce. Like maybe you lived together, it was very committed sort of a thing. And they're saying this is why that retail therapy will be um, important for some of you. That, you know, it's going to make you feel good about who you are. It might be something that you wear, a piece of jewelry, clothing that makes you just feel good about yourself. And so they're saying, you know, your confidence for a lot of you, even if you've been single for a while, um, is not as high as it typically would be. And so, you know, you're maybe kind of coming to this point where you're like, starting to get depressed or thinking that you're not going to find a good love match or you're going to never fall in love again and you know this relationship from before like it totally fucked me up and you know whatever and so they're saying so you're not really likely to be um going out of your way to talk to potential new mates which is not necessarily usually a gemini trait because you're such chatty cathies um so what they're saying is be really honest with yourself and and um reflective about this sort of um possibility here. I'm trying to figure out how to get this. There we go. So you can see it. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. And it's not necessarily like you're lying to yourself, but that's a common theme here is like, let's really honestly um, do some self-evaluation. Let's start with that hermit card, right? Go within and have really good conversations with ourselves about what we can control, what we can't, what we need to let go of, what we need to do um, to be in a happier position. Because they're saying, you know, if you can do this, very quickly things can change for you in your love life. Um, somebody can just show up overnight. But if you're not super honest with that about like the shit you need to get over, the things you need to release, the mindsets you need to change, not so much. Then they go, it will be a very, very long and slow process to find the right person for you. For those of you who are Geminis and you're coupled, they're saying it's going to be approximately be kind of like the same pretty routine, um, but a lot of happiness and joy in there. Um, this is weird, but especially for lesbian couples, they're saying um, you might not be talking as a as much as typically the communication might not be um, as quick or as much as historically, but that's just because your partner is juggling a lot of stuff and it's not that they don't care about you. It's just more like, oh, they've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, they're working on their own success and your relationship um, is successful. You know, people look at this from the outside and say, oh yeah, cute, what a good couple. You just might not be feeling like that's the case this month. You're confident again might be sort of waning um, just because you're not as chatty as usual with your partner and um, for those of you in undefined relationships they're saying that it's not a good time to talk about um, money possessions planning stuff like that with any other parties and they say that's just because you don't want to make plans too far in advance because it might not work out. Um, either the plan won't work out, but more likely the situation might not. And um, they're saying, you know, you're not done with this relationship yet, but you don't know where things are going to be if you're plan Like, so for example, if you're planning something far ahead, if you're planning to um, go on a trip in October, you might not want to buy those tickets just yet. Um, things like that. They're saying, you know, you might be a little bit worried about it. And that is the sign. That's your intuition telling you you're absolutely right. There's a little bit of confusion here. Like even if you really like this person that you're involved in, there's a part of you that knows like it's either not they're either not the best party for you or maybe you feel like they're not good enough for you or the situation just might not be the best thing for you. And I feel like that's maybe um, the issue here. They're saying like this relationship could be stronger um, or it should be stronger at this point in time. And so they're saying you don't really want to think about that. You don't really want to see it, but it's likely the case. Um, and you know, when I talk about relationships here, and I mean, a personal reading is going to give you much better 
um, more precise analysis of what's going on, but this is kind of just like the general vibe for Gemini's. So, um, not so, <laughs> not so many like amazing things so far for your birthday month. What is there to look forward to though in your birthday month? And they go, well, you know what? Like without things that are challenging or struggles for us, like we don't grow stronger. You know, we need these kind of lessons to come out and um, experience blessings on the other side of them. Like that's what the lessons are for. So they go, um, some of you are just kind of stuck in these patterns and this is how you're going to break free from them. So, um, you know, like self-destructive patterns, bad relationship patterns, maybe you are... Um, and addicted to something. And so, you know, I was going to continue on and I'll get back to those cards in a minute, but this is a good place for me to talk to you about your crystal of the month, just because we're talking about breaking bad patterns and um, addictions to like smoking, alcohol, drugs, stuff like that. That's what this one does, is it helps you to release that. So it's smoky quartz. A lot of you probably already have one at home, so get it out, charge it, cleanse it, all that stuff. Um, if you're not sure if you have one, I'll show you what they look like. There are many different forms. So if it was a um, tumbled stone, it might look like this, okay? Um, then we've got some that look like this, you know, they're like big points. Um, you might have like a cathedral type smoky quartz or else even a cluster, see? So a lot of people wear these as necklaces too. The advantage of a stone like this is that it's going to help um, eliminate bad energy, bad juju, negative thinking, stuff like that. It's going to help ground you. Um, it, it not only does it like clear out the negative energy, but it's going to replace it with light energy. So that's a really good thing because that it's not, um, it's kind of like a full detox this month. We're working our, okay, so here's another thing. Your, your chakra of the month is the crown chakra. And that's exactly what that does is when you focus on bringing in light healing energy through the top of your head, it balances and aligns and kind of cleans up anything that's gross or yucky in your body. Um, you can put it into a grounding cord that goes into the middle of the earth, just like pushing all of this like toxic shit out there and then replacing it with light, joyous, like loving energy. Okay. So this, for people who are depressed or anxious, this will help to eliminate some of those thoughts, less anxiety, more depression. It will, um, reduce suicidal thoughts for a lot of people. So this is a really good stone to have on you if you are, um, somewhat, you know, um, what's the word? predisposed to those sort of issues. It helps you to get rid of fear. It, um, it's a really good tool in meditations. It increases your awareness of your dreams, helps you to set goals. And I think that goals, when you see some of these other cards here, are going to be very important. Um, this is especially helpful in balancing out energies in men. It still works really well for women, but um, it helps with the balance specifically for men. Okay, so coming back to where we were, I wanted to talk about your social relationships, which could be you know friends or family members and what you can expect in June. And they say, um, this is also very similar to Capricorn. I don't know, um, there must be somebody specifically watching this who has a very, um, has like a lot of both in their chart because what they're saying is, you know, some friends might just kind of like vibrate out of your field. Maybe you moved, maybe they changed, maybe you changed, who knows? They say the friendship isn't over, but maybe it doesn't feel as strong or solid as it used to. But they're like, guess what? We're reminding you, it's actually not over though. So don't grieve the friendship, okay? They're saying, you know, maybe this friend is, there's like a little bit of distance between you and somebody you used to be really close to. But what they're saying is this is actually a really awesome opportunity for new friends to come in, to um, experience new, fun and exciting things with other people. And so this is actually kind of a blessing. They're like, you get to choose how you wanna see it. And a lot of you are just choosing not to see it or not to think about it this much month but they're saying um try to view it that way because again the sort of theme of the month so far for you in this reading is being super super honest with yourself um so basically the next thing here is that they say uh the guardian is another theme and they say defend what you believe to be right and let nothing pass 
but that's going to require you again to be super, super honest with yourself. So if you're being defensive and, um, you know, there's some truth to what you're defending, that's a different scenario. But if you are very, very certain that you are in the right, go ahead and defend yourself. Um, it's kind of like bringing you clarity to that beginning portion of the reading. Um, your power color of the month is indigo. And so the interesting thing about indigo, um, some people correlate that color to the third eye chakra and other people to the crown chakra. Now our crown chakra is the color of the month, but this is your power color regardless. It's a very spiritual color, okay? Um, Indigo will help you with your actual vision. So if you have vision problems, um, imagining like a indigo light coming through that third eye or through your crown chakra can really help with that. I believe it helps with insomnia. It doesn't actually say that here in the book, but um, it helps your eyes, ears, your nose, any illnesses affecting your head generally, and emotional disorders like ADD, anxiety, and depression. And so... Um, Unfortunately, it seems like Geminis might be a little bit more bummed this month than typical, but now at least we have the tools, like we know what to expect, and maybe how to kind of move forward in um, treating that on our own, but that isn't saying don't seek medical attention, you know, stop. like if you take depression pills, keep taking them, absolutely. So with this one... Um, where was that affirmation? They say, allow what I've seen in my vision to manifest in the perfect time in the perfect way. And so when we were talking about our crystals over here and we're saying, hey, um, I want to set goals and I want to release all of this crap. It's the perfect combination. You know, they say this is a good meditation tool. Use them together. I didn't mention, I don't think, if you don't have one, you can get one from my website under Zodiac Crystals. And um, I mail it to you and you also get like a um, guide on which angels will help you out with that crystal, how to care for it. Um, they're already cleansed and charged, ready to go, and then a video playlist on how to use them. Okay, so our other information here is um, this kind of push to connect with music. So it says, thank you angels for inspiring me through music. Now. The reason why this comes up is because we're talking about, you know, kind of purging and then filling with light. And so connecting to music, we want to do that in a very joyful way, okay? We want to raise our vibration by li listening to joyful music. However, when you're starting to feel really bummed out and you got to release some of these toxic energies or bad patterns and things like that, it can be a little bit cathartic, right? To listen to a really sad love song. Cry it out hard, but don't listen to these songs for longer than like 20 minutes. Have your big fucking cry fest, your big old pity party, but then switch over to joy. Because the music that we're going to listen to really does affect our vibration. And so um, we wanna keep it positive, uplifting. And then our other card here is physical activity. And notice again, it's that indigo color. Um, when we move our bodies around, we also move any energy that is stuck or stagnant. We kind of tend to um, suppress, you know, like depressive energies like make us feel tired. This is why psychosomatization is a thing. Why um, you feel, why you literally feel like junk, you know, like you can't even get off the couch, why your muscles and your body start to hurt if you're feeling depressed. And so they're saying when you're moving your body around, forcing yourself to do that is going to build up endorphins, which is going to raise that vibrational energy for you. They're saying it's all about finding the balance. They're not saying you can't have days that aren't good. You can't have days that are sad, you know, because you'd be a fake ass bitch if you were like, oh, I'm just happy all the time. We wanna be happy more of the time, but you know, like, let's be realistic here. This is about the balance between the energies and that's what we need to find this month, especially for males. And they say, if you're able to just start doing a little bit of physical activity, I'm not saying, you know, like go get a gym membership and start training for a marathon, but even just like walking up the stairs instead of taking an escalator might be enough to just kind of move that energy around that gets stagnant or stuck. Um, and starts to build these endorphins. Although I would say it's better if you can get your heart rate up a little bit. 
Um, all of those things will really help you out to lift your spirit, lift your mood, and replace all, any dark energy that we're trying to purge with light. So they say, um, I come from a loving space of my heart, and I know that love opens up all doors. So, you know, being honest with ourselves about the reality of the situation, and then just saying, okay, I'm going to release it, like having that big, like, dump of emotion and then being more open to these loving vibrations um, is, is really kind of the best path for Gemini's this month. So uh, is there anything else that you need to know? I feel like we're missing something here. And they say, um, for those of you who are traveling in the month of June, you might not be feeling super awesome about taking that trip. Um, and like you're already thinking about it, worrying about it. But they say, try to get excited. Try to get into that excitement, adventurous um, sort of vibration instead. They say um, there are things that are going to be exciting or fun about this trip. Uh, and if that's you and you have this trip coming up, like this is an indicator that this reading is very much for you to be aware of like any kind of negative self-talk or, to or toxic kind of thinking patterns because, you know, negativity breeds negativity, whereas positivity breeds more positivity. So we want to be more on the excited, you know, um, fun track so that we have a better trip. They say, um, you know, things don't always go our way. And that's maybe where this lack of confidence is coming from. You know, we don't get to control everything. Sometimes our luck is bad. Sometimes it's good. And But they're like, but remember that everything that doesn't go right has a lesson attached to it. We learn something from it. We gain experience. And even if that experience is only just to make us a more um, empathetic person to support others, I mean, that's kind of a shitty reward. Usually the rewards are bigger. But you know, it's still a reward. And so they're saying, you know, we really want you to burst out of this energy that is kind of um, out there for you this month because it's not super comfortable. But they're saying, like, try to remember that there's something big and beautiful on the other side of it. They're saying, like, change just sucks. It's hard. But if we don't like let certain things die, if we don't eliminate certain things or people or situations from our lives, if we don't make those changes, we don't get rewards. Like if you want to keep everything the same, then your life is going to stay the same, essentially. You know, people never reach extraordinary heights if they're ordinary people. It's the same kind of concept. Like if we don't make big leaps and changes, if we don't do that work, then we don't get big you know, leaps and changes kinds of rewards. And so they say, first thing, um, your natural instinct is going to be to defend yourself, but do some introspection this month, very honestly. Um, kind of know what your weaknesses are and then use those. Use those to learn and grow. Get excited about changing those things because there are tons of rewards on the other side for you with that. Um, see you in July. I forgot to tell you, your lucky day of the month is the 11th, which makes me really happy because my little Gemini baby, his birthday is June 11th. So, um, yay, lucky day, now you know. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!